thank you, Neil, very much. And my congratulations to Labor Press and Emblem Health for hosting this wonderful award ceremony. I'll be real brief because I'm not on the program, so I can be brief. And John Liu, didn't, didn't our great city controller say it all anyway, right? Give him another round of applause. He's terrific. A good friend. How appropriate it is during this very, very tough and challenging time for organized labor that we're taking time here in New York City and New York State to recognize the heroes, the men and women who shoulder the responsibility of leadership and guide our working men and women. We thank each and every one of you who are being recognized today and the team of union leaders who are here, whose perhaps their names aren't listed here, but are very much part of the backbone of organized labor in our city and our state. Many of you have heard me say it before, and certainly picking up on the theme that John Liu touched on, we cannot have prosperity as a nation. We cannot have a secure middle class if we do not have a strong labor movement in this country. That's something that our history has taught us. And, and you've all been through fights over many years, and there are going to be continued fights. And we shouldn't be d too discouraged by what happened in Wisconsin. I still like the cheese from Wisconsin. I'm not giving up on that. And when you look at how much money was spent by the other side, actually the labor side was a much more efficient operation on getting out votes than the other side, don't you think? And I did note that, that Governor Walker in his victory speech sounded a different tune and a different tone. He talked about collaboration. He talked about conciliation. So perhaps the votes didn't come out the way labor had expected but perhaps the message, in fact, was received. The reality is, as we navigate through tough and challenging times, we need labor at the table to help us make the best choices, even when the options are very challenging and very difficult. I see my friend Ken Bryan in here, state president for PEF. We had our PEF labor management meeting yesterday. And, and your colleagues there at the table, they gave us some good ideas on what we need to do to help our agency get through these tough times. That's something we all need to keep in mind. We're only going to get through this tough time together. The voices of working men and women will only be represented if we have strong union leadership. How appropriate it is for you to honor the heroes this evening. And I also want to give a shout out to Lee Saunders who now has to dazzle us based on what John Liu said with his speech, uh, and to all of those who are being recognized, and certainly a very, very special word to a very, very special person, and that's Lillian Roberts. My only quibble, Lillian, with this recognition for you, and maybe it's a technical point, Neil, I like the hero part of the award. But lifetime achievement suggests that Lillian's work is finished. <laughs> Lillian's not finished. And we can't afford for you to be finished, my friend. So keep going. God bless you. We all love you. Have a great evening, everyone.